हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक आज की वीडियो में हम देखने जा रहे हैं अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट द नेम इज लाइव स्टॉक मार्केट प्रिडिक्शन सो इफ यू हैव लिटिल बिट नॉलेज अबाउट स्टॉक मार्केट फाइनेंस और हाउ स्टॉक परफॉर्म देन यू विल बी लव्ड दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड यू कैन एड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन योर प्रोफाइल बायटा और जुमे एंड यू कैन शेयर योर लिंक गिट इफ लिंक विथ योर Uh, a recruiter or a interviewer person okay so and even you can explain this project uh, how you done it okay so uh, first of all we'll go on yahoo finance because we are using this yahoo finance api on this side we are using the api of this so we are uh, you can use any uh, if you want to do the tesla tesla stock stock prediction you can use this but i'm going to do uh, with apl apple because because i have already add you can change that just i'm going to show how to change and how to add a different uh, a different stock in your uh, prediction or you can just take a S sp 500 and you can do the prediction of sp 500 also but we are going uh, doing the uh, prediction with uh, this is a live market if you see it is a 12 uh, date of 12 and we are using the same data we are going to use the uh the date of uh, 12 may 2020 till uh, uh, 12 may okay so uh if you know this side well uh, the this is the opening price opening price is 173 uh then we have uh, a day range we have day range over here then we have a volume over there so these these are the Now, these are the parameter we are going to check on our uh, prediction okay so first of all if if you don't uh, install means you have not installed before uh, y finance uh, yahoo finance then you need to install pip install uh, y finance so i'm going to show how i did it okay uh, so just install that after install installation uh, it is It is installing. Okay, the requirement is all. You need uh, all requirement are satisfied. Okay, so uh, if I want a stock of a Tesla, then I'll just write it here a Tesla. You can just assign one variable. Uh, I have here a ticker. You can just uh, put a name or stock or whatever you want to assign that. But I have uh, picked the ticker symbol because. Uh, uh, it mention as a ticker symbol in by finance that's why i use the ticker then we have a starting date if you want a specific date because i have mm, taken only from 2020 to 2023 means a uh, live live date today's live date hmm. uh you can check uh, from 1993 i think so 1994 or 1993 uh, or before that also you can check from 1950 or some somewhere uh, i don't know the uh, exact date where it started but uh, i have start uh, i have taken the start date and end date uh, so uh, how to get a data fetching a data is very easy uh, you need to assign a uh, df or data uh, then yf because it is we have taken as a yf uh, and then download because we need a data uh, which is in the form of uh csv uh so it is in the form of table if you can see it is in the form of uh i don't know exact type we can check the type also but right now why yf dot download then tick a stock stock name then starting start is equal to start date and end is equal to end date uh, then we just print our data so i'll just print my data you can see here uh we get a data till yesterday not uh a today's data if you see here i'm getting the day uh of 12th but i have mentioned 12 but i'm getting the uh, uh yesterday data because we are predicting predicting tomorrow which means what going to ha happen in uh, tomorrow okay so uh, after taking a data we need that data into form of data frame so i just use the pd dot data frame and uh, i pass my data and i take it as a df then i just take my first five rows of df uh what do i have date uh, then op 
opening what is the opening price what is the high price what is the low price what is the closing price and adjust the close sometime what happens after a stock um, stock uh, hours means uh, the stock market hours uh, there is some slight difference uh, in closing value that's why it is the adjusted closing then we what we have volume so this is the thing we have after that we check the info because we we want to know how many column so we have a six column and all the column are float a uh, float uh, 64 and in in the form of int so we don't need to convert convert that data into int or float so uh, that's uh, good uh, after that what we do we have a date over here if you go over there uh, this is the date over here we have date as an index right now because we don't have an index one two one two four one two three four we don't have an index over here so what is our index index is a date so i have take um, take pd dot to date time and I, i'm just getting my uh, date i want that date in the form of only date column not in, in the form of uh, uh, index so uh, i pass df dot index and i'll get my uh, data if you see this is in the form of uh, index now i'm getting same data same values same date uh, in the form of, uh, in uh, my date column so what i have used here i have used a, a plotly library uh, it is very advanced library it is mainly used for graphical representation and it is a fabulous library i can say uh, it is mostly used in time series or uh, whenever we want to show the live data we use the plotly because uh, a matplotlib and seaborn are very basic uh, in the form of uh, data representation but if you go on advanced data representation so you can use the plotly and it is very 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 uh, uh, i say uh, uh, advanced library we have multiple resources uh, out there and you can do whatever you like i have i want to uh, show you the candlestick of uh, data so if you can see uh, this is the uh, apple uh, stock price chart of apl means apple and we have the uh, uh, range of, of from 60 to 180 because our light uh, right now the price is 173 or 170 so we'll go to, uh, it is the uh, 172.59 uh, so if you see here this is the live data representation and behind this api if you go and check uh, after if you go here inspection and if you check that you'll get that uh, there is a one library called plotly or something used behind the program or something uh, is means I think so it is plotly or some advanced library over there use so this is the same thing we are going to use in our program okay but uh, the prediction we are doing is very basic because we are not using the uh, Fibonacci level or um, movement of market or R RS, RSI level so these are the parameter if we use and predict the stock price it will definitely give a really advanced ai stock prediction but we are just using the basic formula and we are applying the algos over there so if you want me to do a advanced level of stock market prediction video in upcoming days just mention in comment i'll do i'll add fibonacci level i'll add a uh, different parameter and we can do uh, and even if you want me to uh, develop an api using the plotly i can develop an api over there you can check the different plots uh, different stock together because here we are just checking one uh, one apple stock uh, we can use the API and we can just do the scroll down thing and we can add, uh, we can just write uh, in, in input output uh, IO field over there what price, what uh, stock you want to predict uh, or what uh, um, what type of graph you want to check. So you can just go and make that by using the plotly and this is, this will be very advanced level. So if you want me to do that, just comment in, comment down below. I will make sure he ugly could you know me banana banana make a tracker okay 
सो यहाँ पे हमने कुछ यूज नहीं किया वी हैव जस्ट क्रिएटेड वन वेरेबल कॉल फिग एंड वी हैव गिवन दो प्लॉटली डॉट ग्रॉप ऑब्जेक्ट एज गो सो गो डॉट फिगर एंड वी पास अवर डेटा हियर ऑन एक्स एक्सिस वी हैव अ डेट ऑन इफ यू सी हियर वी हैव ओपन हाई देन लो एंड क्लोज दिज आर ऑल्सो पास ओवर देयर ऑन बाई यूजिंग द go candlestick and we have given to the data and then after that customize the chart layout so figure update layout title name because we need to give the title name then on axis what we want on uh, uh y axis title then uh, x axis uh, range slider visible false to so, yahan pe ek range slider hota hai wo visible false kar diya matlab wo dikhega nahi and then we have uh, shown display okay so after showing that we have this uh, button over here if you want why i said uh, plotly is advanced because we can just uh, do the uh, downloading if i want to download if you see here uh, i have downloaded it, uh, downloaded this uh, chart by using the plotly and if you if i go and just check this in my um, uh, paint or uh, any uh, image uh, image Uh, it will show me the same graph. I have downloaded the same. You can just take a snap, or you can just uh, this is the same thing uh, as a snap. After that, you can zoom that if you want th uh, to zoom that. You can zoom uh, if you want pan somewhere. If you want to pan like here, if I go and pan, I can pan over here. Okay, so this is the pan thing we can do. Uh, we can also do the box select if I want to select a specific thing. i can just check and i have done the box thing uh, after doing the box thing it, now it is only visible for us okay i'll just go and remove that now what we have last to select i don't know what is it uh, we can zoom in zoom out we can go go and auto scale uh, it will go the bigger one uh, we can go reset the axis all of these are possible i'm not going to do that Okay, so this is the chart I I just want to to show. I'll just go and uh, again refresh that. Okay, now if you see, aha, uh -huh. if you see, I can just want a specific. Now this is the thing. Okay, but I want my uh, just go and zoom out or auto scale. If I put auto scale, it will uh, give me the default or the previous output or the pre uh, or the a default uh, diagram of or the chart okay so we'll go further we we'll drop the date and volume because we don't need this column so i'll just drop that if you go here if you see here we have volume and date because i i'm not using uh, any as i mentioned before i'm not using any indicator or or advance uh, prediction level we using the basic thing over here that's the reason so you don't need uh, those um, thing here date and volume so i'll go and reset my uh, index also and after that i'll just plot the line of a closing bar you see uh, it is if i use here uh, a date on y axis i'll get by the date uh, which date the uh, what is the price by using the graph okay this is the closing price uh, till date it is on 180 if you go here you can check also uh it is it touch the highest of 180 and now it is on uh 172 so the same graph here now after after that what we do we reset uh we uh, df dot reset index we we are dropping the uh our uh index file index column after that what i have used here pandas uh, i already imported uh after that S from escalon uh, ensemble we are using the random forest regressor because it is a regressor problem you can use the different regressor algorithm you can try out uh okay uh, we have uh, escalon dot model selection we uh, this is the our basic uh, uh, flow uh, flow of doing the algo training so what we need train and sprint train train test split after that we have matrix mean square error uh, how much error we have it is less than 1 then it is good or if it is 1 then we need to check what we are missing and we are going to check our prediction also so this is the 
I have just take, uh, given the x-axis what column I wanted and then y, uh, y column as a closing value because we, we are not predicting exactly what we want but we are cre creating one column close and uh, not close we are using the close column uh, for that. After that I just pass the xy value then test size and random state. After that uh, I have uh, created my object random forest and uh, I pass my uh, n estimator is equal to 100. n estimator is equal to 100 what it uh, does exactly it create a, 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 a tree of a 100 estimator means it create a tree of uh, what I say are अभी exactly मुझे word नहीं आता रहा है but uh, वो जो tree create करेगा ना वो hundred का ही create करेगा okay and after that we just uh, fit our x train and y train after that y pred is equal to uh, rf dot predict and we pass the x test and uh, for mean square error what we need y y test and y pred so I'll just so I'm getting zero point zero nine it is a good one and then after that import numpy as a numpy and we are passing a uh, array into new, uh, new data as created one variable called new data uh, np dot array and i am passing this uh, 2d array into that new data and after that i, I am using rf dot predict that we have created over here means and i am passing this value these are the values of yesterday if i go um, if i go over here and i'll show you okay i'll 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 do one thing I'll make df dot tail. If you see here, uh, these are the same value of uh, yesterday's value. These are the yesterday's value actually. Uh, if I go here, I'll just show you. Uh, how can I show the yesterday's value? I'm not able to show you yesterday's value because now it is today's high or low, I think so. If I go here. Yeah, I think so. It is today's high and low, not yesterday. So these are the yesterday's high and low. If you see here, uh, I'll put same data over here, pass the same data, and I am trying to predict, uh, predict the stock price, and I pass this value. So it predicted one seventy four point four nine will be the uh, next day's uh, prediction. Means it may go over there. So, अभी तक तो ये one seventy four point जा के आया near to that so it is very basic uh, stock market prediction uh, uh, ml algorithm i have applied uh, we can add much more thing and we can create a, a really good uh, api by using this okay so this is the live data if you see here uh, some people download this C csv file you can go here and you can download also a csv file uh, there is uh, one more option you can download this uh, or you can just go to the Kaggle and you can download a, a file of a... so this uh, and even if if I want a much more information related to stock like I have just open high low close but I I don't have the uh, the, the the x dividend value or this uh, p ratio if you know the p ratio what is p ratio uh, you'll know EPS uh, earning per share this is the earning per share then we have market capital we can use that data also in our uh, program but i have used the basic uh, parameter right now but if you want me to create a, a, a advanced level prediction i can make it so thanks for watching this video if you have any confusion any problem or anything any doubt related to this program or project just ping me in the comment i will make sure uh, aapke jo bhi, uh, problem se, I'll sort it out and you can add this in your resume also and you can even explain this but it is a very basic you can add much more thing so thanks for watching this video like share and subscribe the channel because usse mujhe motivation milta hai. it gives me motivation okay thank you bye